Hello, in this video I'm going to give you a quick introduction for the tutorials that we're going to have in 2020, at least the first half of 2020. Um, to start off, we'll be revisiting uh, things that we've learned in 2019, and I'm talking about um, tutorials uh, 4.2 and 4.3, the game of life ones uh, with Voxel. So if you haven't seen the videos, I make, make sure you check them out um, so that you can follow along. I will be revisiting them in, in these tutorials, but it's much better if, you, um, if you've looked through them by yourself. <clears throat> um, by the end of um, the revisiting, I guess, uh, we're going to have um, a point cloud. Right. A voxelized point cloud, which was created by generating or playing this uh, Conway's game of life. And we're going to wrap that point cloud with a mesh, like that. And I haven't covered this part too deeply in, in, in the previous tutorials, but this time around we're going to look into how um, this point cloud cloud is actually wrapped with this mesh, right? And that has to do with um, uh, the Cocoon plugin itself, which is using the Martian Cubes algorithm, right? And then as we're going to look through what the Martian Cube algorithm does and kind of dissect it, we're going to start looking into these um, um, configurations or, or, or these nodes of, of, of uh, a, a library of segments that marching cube algorithm uses and we're basically going to um, rebuild the same library in here right and then we're going to rebuild the logic of the marching cubes algorithm in grasshopper right so so that we can then easily change it I know this this is like really brute force uh, approach but it seems to work because once you have the logic down and uh, once you're able to change um, the, the, the forms then then you can basically do anything with the shape right meaning that if suddenly these elements <clears throat> suddenly these elements are changed to something like this right and I have a separate video, like a sped up video showing how I modeled all of them out. Uh, but basically, if um, instead of regular uh, marching cubes algorithm uh, polygons, you have shapes like these, that means you can control the final form. So instead of something like this, you get um, something like this. Right? And then it only comes down to aesthetics of these um, 15 or rather 14 parts since part zero is empty um, right so so if you want a more technical aesthetic then you can do model out something like this if you prefer something more blobby you can do something else right and function and so on also can be incorporated in these elements so this is a very very quick way on how uh, to generate extreme complexity with um, already present rule set, right? Which always wraps around. Uh, let's see if we can make this a bit nicer. Yeah, there we go. Which always wraps around the shape perfectly, right? And never leaves leaves a gap, meaning that all of these parts are enclosed. Um, so that's going to be a big part of the course. Uh, by the end of the course, we'll start looking into how we can um, how we can visualize these things, right? And I've already done a few videos on rendering with uh, V-Ray for Rhino, um, and and those were done mostly for um, like these kind of niche um, realistic or pseudo realistic renders or, or elements of renders. Uh, so in this case I was <clears throat> thinking that we could um, look into something a bit more um, cartoonish, like right? cell shaded and so on. And this was done with uh, V-Ray for 
uh, Rhino, which doesn't have a cell shader um, in itself. So there's going to be a lot of um, manipulation involved, like when it comes down to light and contrast and so on. But um, yeah, we'll we'll I think we'll be able to pull off uh, something like this. All right. So these are like two two models I've done or two renders I've done uh, for this course and like generating these for um, I don't know spaceships buildings whatever five sorry <laughs> uh, generating these five spaceships took me like two minutes once um, the, the, the final um, script was done so again um, in this course we'll be looking into how generate complexity really really quickly by simply setting up the aesthetics in the elements uh, themselves right and then just setting up the rules on how these elements should wrap around these points right and that's about it so make sure to uh, check out the coming videos and uh, I'll see you there.